Hello, this is Jeff Falker with End Up Studies. This is Jeff's thoughts on Romans. We are going to take just one or a few verses at a time as we walk through the book of Romans. And today we are in Romans chapter 1, verse 1, where it says, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God. Two things we want to highlight during our time. One is, it says, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus. Now, when you say servant, there is this controversy whether it, there, a better translation would be slave or servant. Well, from my point of view, it really doesn't matter because no matter which word you use, you have to qualify it. By this, I mean, if you're going to use the word servant, then you have to use really bond servant. That's what it has to mean. That is someone who attaches themselves as, as a servant for life. And if you use the word slave, once again, you have to uh, qualify that because it's a willing slave, a bond slave. It's a willing slave. Someone who attaches themselves as a slave to a master for life. So no matter which way you go, servant or slave, you must qualify, at least in its meaning. So to me, it's much ado, or at least the controversy is much ado about nothing. But the second issue, which is a bit more important, is, is, is the word called, where it says, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle. What does it mean, called? Well, obviously, our Lord spoke to the Apostle Paul and he told him that he was going to send him to the Gentiles and that he would suffer for the faith. But when it says called, Jesus really talked to the Apostle Paul. Paul didn't have a, a uh, just an impression or a feeling or an idea pop into his head, but he actually talked to Paul. So in this context, calling is rather unique. I don't experience that. I don't expect other people will experience that today. But if you're going to have this kind of a call, God is going to actually talk to you. And of course, if he does that, you should do it. So thank you very much. And if you want to check out more of Jeff's thoughts, go on to YouTube. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.